So let's get into some architecture and project product features. First, I'd like to highlight on the left side of that middle block our Econ Studio. The Econ Studio is where a power user would be creating the configurations and the model. All of that information is housed within the studio. So all of the rules, all of the different variables, all configured and saved within the studio. It's also a place where you go to set up and maintain all of those previously created models. Then right in the middle we have our engine. The engine is the heart of Econ, where you do all of the calculations. So we, the engine is what's running all of those rules behind the scene. And you have the user interface, which is where you have the presentation of the questions and the results to the end users. Up on top of those three blocks, you have the configuration suite, which is our portal where you can use Econ via the web and through that portal you can come in to do your new quotes and manage your previous quotes and house all of your information about the models that you have existing. Up on top on the highest layer we'll have our Econ Smart Client which is the client for offline use, remotely deployable, Windows-based application, in the bottom most layer of this slide, you have our possible data sources. You see that Econ is very flexible, and you can use multiple different data sources from your CAD system, obviously your ERP system like the Dynamics AX and Dynamics NAV, but you can also leverage some other data sources such as your access databases, even Excel files, which is quite unique for this market. So let me get a little bit uh, more detail here in some of these areas. Here's some of the features. Web-based application running on top of IIS. So it's easy for you to install, easy for you to give access to both your internal and external users. Having a web-based client also gives you the dynamic forms which allows you for dynamic content. So what that means is if in your model based on some of the initial questions you may need more questions to pop up. Because it is a dynamic model leveraging some of the latest .NET technologies you're easily able to create new lines on the fly as you're making the configuration or then based on some of the answers you may have more answers that will come up or some answers that will go away. You know how if you're using Dynamics AX or Dynamics NAV for example on a Windows client based it's very hard for you to change the form completely and add questions or delete questions based on other questions you may already have answered so this dynamic interface has provided that for our users. And it's also very user friendly, so it's very easy to use. They're used to pulling up Internet Explorer, for example, and moving around with their mouse. So it's very easy, low cost for them to learn how to use the tool. The engine. The important thing about this engine here is that this is a declarative engine instead of an imperative en engine. Let me talk a little bit about the differences here. An imperative engine is one that you have questions and you've, you have to start from a top-down process, which means you answer the first question, you move on to the second, and the third, and then the fourth. Let's say that uh, you now need to change something because you changed your mind, your client changed your mind or made a mistake on question number two. Now your question, you're, now you're down to question number five. You're going to have to go back up, undo all those questions, go back to two, and after you're done with two, you go three, four, five again. That's an imperative engine, not very flexible. Declarative engine, which is what's in our product, you're able to start at any point in the configuration. And 
as you're configuring it, let's say you're down to question five, as it was the example earlier, and you want to change question number two, just go ahead and change it. If there are rules that are binding to the other answers, it'll tell you you've got to change this answer or that answer, or then you'll limit the, the potential options for the questions that you had already answered, but it won't have you go through and redo everything. That also gives you a flexibility that if your customer, let's say for example you're configuring a car, you're going to sell a car, a brand new car, and you're, you're trying to configure all the different options for your customers. Let's say if it's a young person out of college and they come in to configure this car. Maybe what they're going to be looking for is first, what is the strength? How many how horsepower does this, this car have? And what's the radio system? So they want to configure starting in that order. And then afterwards comes a family in. They may be more worried about starting the configuration with what is the car size? What is the, what are the safety features? Or the safety ratings? Two different clients with the declarative engine, one configuration model. With one client, you can start on power, for example. The other client, you can start on size of the car without having to change anything. Not the case on an imperative engine. So you can also talk about this in your business, for example, with a new salesperson, and the salesperson has been working in the organization for quite some time. What's the difference there? Well, the person that has been with the organization for a long time, the experienced salesperson, may be able to just go through and pick their choices based on what he heard from the client and go directly to a specific motor, for example. A brand new salesperson, since that person may not be familiarized with uh, all the products and all the different options yet, that person may have to answer a few questions. And as that person is answering those questions, the system is working through the rules, the engine is working through the rules, and minimizing to maybe a couple of options at the end where that person can make that, that motor selection. So you minimize here your training time, you maximize accuracy. It is just a, a flexible engine that's going to make your business more profitable. Another advantage of our solution is that it leverages XML for its configurations and model setup, all of its rules, and all of its results, for example. The reason why that's important to you is because, like the example of the client that I've been working with recently, they go through and they configure their products, and the solution to that configuration is all stored in XML file which is very easy to use in order to integrate with external systems. In this particular client's case, it is their CAD system. So they can pull all of this configuration information from our configurator solution, and leverage it in some of their parametric mod models to actually create the models based on the information that they've brought out of our configuration solution. Data sources. Other computer configurators might use their own databases, which may force you to replicate all of your Dynamics data, for example, over to their specific database in order to make the data available. Since Econ can work natively within Microsoft Dynamics products, you're able to pull dynamic information straight from the system, live data. So you're pulling live prices, costs, availability. You can leverage those rules to check on forecasted availability time of when you can do the manufacturing. So you're pulling information live from the system instead of having to replicate that data and potentially have data out of sync when 
you are doing your configurations. Plus, you can leverage the fact that you can have multiple data sources to pull information from your different sources that you already have existing, such as your Access database or even your Excel file, as I mentioned earlier. At the same time that you can have your live data, you have also the Econ Smart Client where you can remotely deploy that client to the field directly to the customer if you choose, or have your distributors use the Smart Client in order to have offline configurations. For more information about this product or other to increase products, please visit www.to-increase.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.